there are these three sovereign spheres, the, the civil sphere and the church sphere uh, and the family, uh, but, but there's definitely overlap. And the, 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 the place where they overlap significantly is the home. Uh, the home is the place that provides both the church and the state with, with what they need to be the church and the state, right? Where do good citizens come from? Where, where do good churchmen come from? Where, where is it that, that we're supplied, if you will? And it's in properly functioning homes. Those properly functioning homes are, are really the, the, the seminaries, if you will, um, for the church. That is the place where the, the bulk of the work is done in terms of evangelism and discipleship. That's the place where we hear and are inundated with the truth of God's word and where we understand the gospel. It's also the place where we put feet on our gospel claims. I mean, when we're looking, for example, for men who would be qualified to lead in the church, Paul tells us in Titus that where we look is in their homes, not just in Titus. He also tells us this in Timothy, right? Tells us this in the pastoral epistles, that the place where we evaluate the qualifications for those who will lead in the church is their homes. Are they doing in the home those things that would be required of one who would lead in the church? And I think the same is, is true on the civil sphere. We saw that more, you know, in Israel as, as heads of households, you know, had responsibilities to their families and to their clans uh, and, and for carrying out decisions that were made, you know, on those, those, uh, those higher levels. It's the same with us. And our laws even recognize that, right? If I have a, a, a child in my home who's, who's out of hand, right, um, and, they're, and they're a minor, well, the state's gonna come to me because I have that duty and that responsibility to restrain that child. So it's incredibly important. The home is incredibly important, but what have we done in recent generations? What have we done over the last hundred years? Well, we've said both in the church and in the home, fathers, you're not significant. So in the church, we say, bring them and drop them off and we'll take care of them in Sunday school and children's ministry and youth ministry. And then in the state, we say, as early as you can, you drop them off with us and we'll be the training ground for them. So we've lost some of that militancy, if you will, in the home because it's been usurped by the church and the state.